And for me, this is uh, such a deep question. If we look how all our societies are based on Ministry of Defense and how deeply we are educated in this pattern of defending and offending, how can we create a life with real trust? And what is nonviolence? So peace cannot be such a soft energy. Maybe nonviolence is even stronger. You need to find the inner power of life, which enables us to say our clear yes, our clear no in a nonviolent way. And it's always very touching when I'm there with this uh, peace community. And in my vision, I always see decentralized uh, models where little communities like they they do research in remembering what does it mean to live in cooperation with nature and in this area my question is very much connected with the question how could this happen if the matriarchal cultures were really so complete and so in resonance how could it happen that uh, war started and then I discovered uh, very, very deeply the, our relation and in humanity to the question of eros. And if we study the prehistorical cultures or also still some tribes uh, are living like this, for them eros was a very universal, very sacred power and uh, it was very natural that you can stay in love with a partner and not to build a cave. And if I look to our societies, I feel often that we call love what is not love. So we, we cannot really share truthful in our partnerships. May they be mono, may, may we live monogam or in a polygamy or may we be homosexual or whatever. The relationships, they need a surrounding where we learn to be truth, truthful in our erotical relationships. And there I notice how much violence is happening in the, because we are living in a hypnosis of building relationships where there is always a hidden war and how to find new ways of living together, how to build trust ways where we as women, for example, remember again, what does it mean to carry a feminine wisdom? And I noticed that with the feminine part in history, they happened in a way the same like what we have done to the earth. Uh, we entered the materialistic age. And since this time, earth became hell and God is in heaven. And the divine goddess was taken away from God. What a lonely God without this uh, side, this feminine side. I feel that in the divine reality, the feminine and the masculine power wants to be balanced in what way ever. And here I feel we are touching something which comes to the core. And when I then notice how we deal with the earth, without asking, we took all away, we mistreated the earth, we mistreated the water in a way that we were the human beings conquering, building, big empires and how now can we remember how life wants to be organized? For me, I would say it's like there is something in the universe which created us and we are creating societies and how do they come back in resonance? The system which created us and the system what we created, how do they find back a real resonance and cooperation and we know that the war is growing everywhere and uh, the climate climate is so in a challenging situation that we can lose hope and i know a lot of peace workers who really are, have a big burnout 
And so my question, do we have a vision of a healed planet Earth? Can we see how life wants to be organized for me becomes crucial. I feel sometimes that around the whole globe, it's like a smoke, like a, um, a negative energy where we are always repu reproducing the catastrophe because we don't go to the depth and to the crucial point where all this war started. And so for me, the, the memory of a healthy picture, how we are meant to be, and that we all have, as far as we have a, a system, a body, there is a memory in our cell system where we can remember how a healthy complexity of all beings with a big diversity uh, can live in cooperation. And maybe at the end, I would like to compare the issue of errors and the issue how we deal with the water. And it's like often when we speak, we speak, for example, that we want to build a society which is where is errors free from fear. And in the beginning, we called it free love and many people projected a lot into it. But it was then always the, that people said, no, sexuality, if you free sexuality, it will become violent. And I always feel, no, not sexuality itself is violent. Uh, it became violent because it was so suppressed, because it was not allowed to really ask, what is this as a sacred source of life where we all are coming from? And for me, this is a bit, we can compare this with the water. We built big pipelines. We mistreated the earth so that the earth cannot receive the water anymore. There is no humus where the water can sink into the earth. And so the water also with the big floods becomes violent, but not because water itself is violent, but because we mistreated it so many catastrophes are growing. And in my vision, I feel that we are challenged to find back that we don't wait that governments act. I don't believe that the change will come from big governments. I feel that we have to reorganize our cell system as human beings to build communities where we really figure out this deeper level of cooperation. I often speak about TTT, truth, trust, transparency, to build this on all levels and to learn to communicate, to see that the earth is a conscious being and that we can learn to communicate with the water, with the fire, with the trees, with, uh, with all beings. And by this figuring out how can we recreate a resonance of all living beings and that we honor that we have our body in this lifetime like a gift, like a temple, which wants to be treated in a wise way because it has its own wisdom and its own story to tell us.